Rich from Anywhere Gang, what's really good guys? I want to get on real quick and make this video for you um, to, to inform y'all on something that's happening within Facebook Ads Manager soon. So the name of this feature is called Campaign Budget Optimization, or CBO for short. And this feature is actually already live, it's already in your Ads Manager, so you can test it out, check it out, see how it works um, right now. But come September, October, um, I'm not sure the exact date, but come around fourth quarter of 2019 this is going to be the way the only way that you can actually set budgets so the old the old way that we used to set budgets on the ad set level is not going to be the way we do things anymore all right so it's super important that you guys go ahead and start getting this um testing this out now essentially what this new feature is is it's going to be allowing us to set our budgets on the campaign level instead of the ad set level like we're normal like we normally do right so for instance if you have a campaign and then inside that campaign you have five ad sets and all of those ad sets are 10 bucks a piece you'd be spending 50 bucks on that campaign right so instead of setting the budget at the ad set level you're going to be setting the budget on the campaign level so you'll be setting a campaign budget of fifty dollars what it's going to do is it's going to start allocating the budget towards each ad set depending on which one's performing the best so a lot of you guys know that this is already something that's been happening, but it's always just happened on the ad level, right? So you have a campaign and then an ad set, and then inside the ad set, you have multiple creatives. Well, at that creative level, Facebook will automatically distribute the funds towards the best performing ad, right? So that's essentially the same exact thing that's happening, but now it's happening on the ad set level. So you're going to just going to be setting, you know, your budget on the campaign level. Pretty easy to understand, but it's really important that you guys go in and start, you know, uh, getting familiar with it, start testing it, start seeing how it behaves and stuff like that now so that, you know, when September and October comes, you know, you're not caught with your pants down and don't know what the hell to do. So although I will say that this, although this is automating the process, I would still really, really make sure that you understand your, your metrics and your data and learn how to optimize things manually still because you never really want to give full control to Facebook. You know, you never really know what's going on behind the scenes with these algorithms. It's always just better to be in control, right? So with that being said, guys, I mean, this is how it works. I just want to kind of run through this real quick. You're going to go to your ads manager. You're going to hit create like you normally would. So you're going to do your campaign. You're going to put in the name, right? Test campaign. And then you choose your objective like normal. So it doesn't really matter what your objective is. Um, you're going to still have that budget optimization option no matter what. So let's say we do conversions. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit budget optimization. Okay. So that's where you're going to actually set your budget, right? So just like an ad set, you have your daily budget or lifetime budget option. So what you're going to do is set your budget. So let's say it's a hundred bucks. We'll keep it at that. And then you'll create your ad set. And then you'll create your, your your ad, right? So then you'll go ahead and save that to draft. All right. So it'll take you into this thing here, but let's go ahead and close that. So now you have you know your your basic structure of your ad, right? So within the test campaign, you'll go inside there. So then once you get into the ad set level, what you can do is go ahead and uh, duplicate, and you're going to keep the original campaign. And let's just say you want to have a total of five ad sets, right? So then you just duplicate like that. Okay, so now we have five ad sets within your campaign, right? So I move a little bit fast, guys. So if you need to, you know, slow down and, and pause things, that's cool. But you got one campaign, five ad sets within your campaign, and then you have your five ads as well, right? So essentially, this is all the same. I'm not going to run through this really detailed because you guys already know what to do there, I'm sure. But basically, what's going to happen is that $100 that you spent on the campaign, it's going to be evenly distributed to the ad sets. So then once you start running your ads, what it's going to do is it's going to automatically start allocating the budget towards the best performing ad sets automatically. All right. I wanted to just make this quick video for you guys so that you knew that it was coming so that you weren't caught off guard, right? So as always, man, like I said, though, man, be sure that you know how to read your metrics and know how to optimize manually just in case that this stuff doesn't work as well. We're currently testing it out right now. So as soon as we have some more updates on how it's performing, we will let y'all know. If y'all have any questions at all, drop them in the comments below. Happy to help. 
As always, man, let's get it, y'all. Rich from anywhere, gang. Peace.